Sound means. Yeah. First of all, this is First Coast Living. So glad to have you. Yeah. Buddy, Jamal. This is Curtis Dvorak. Everybody knows that guy. And this is Hoops. Hello. From hello. Hoop hello. Green. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? You're in town getting ready, uh, promoting the game that's yep. coming up in a few weeks, right? December 6th, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Get, get your tickets now. HarlemGlobeChatters.com. Yeah. All right. So I'm really excited because uh, there are there are there aren't very many female players on the team and no. you're the 15th one. That's correct. 15th woman in I think what 94 years yeah. now? Yeah. Since 1926. So I got to represent the ladies. <laughs> I love it. The how long you been, how long have you been playing with them? I'll be going on my fourth year now. Fourth year. So yeah. what it so from your first year till till now what have you what's what's been kind of the the, the number one thing that you're like wow this is way different than I thought it would be? I mean honestly I, when I first went to the tryout, I had no idea. I didn't know what to expect. Like, how do you go and try out to be a globe trial? Right. Do, you, do you practice the confetti, throwing water on people? Like, how do you do that? Um, but along the way, I've learned a lot how to be a globe trotter on and off the court, and a lot of traveling. Yeah. I, I mean, with the name, you gotta travel a lot, globe yeah. trotters. But it's really a lot of traveling. Yeah. But a lot of fun and smiling faces. It's I think that's world. something people probably they see this. You go and you go to the show and you see the game and everything and think, okay, cool. They go play basketball games. Uh -huh. But you guys do so much around the world for 94 years, just obviously sharing the game but you go to school appearances, mm -hmm. community events, everywhere you go, right? Yeah, everywhere we go, we're known as being the ambassadors of goodwill. Um, we love being involved with the community, giving back, and it's it's just as important, you know, playing basketball, but doing all that for those guys, it means a lot. So as a girl that grew up as the only girl in the household, there's <laughs> always that like yeah. tug of war, you kind of have to prove yourself. Is that the case when you're on the team? You're you know, what, what, is that, what is that situation like? Um, I mean, you definitely, obviously, you have to hold your weight. You stand out, obviously, amongst amongst guys. You see all the guys, and then you're like, oh, hey, there's a, there's a woman on the team. So I think that as a woman, you have to, you know, just showcase your skills. I've been doing this my entire life, and yeah. I'm comfortable with it. I've always played with and against guys. My older brother, I've always competed against him. And I just feel comfortable, but you know, I'm always challenging them. I'll challenge them one-on-one, -on -one, challenge them in a shootout, and it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm competitive, so. You gotta be. You yeah, gotta you gotta be. be. In that <laughs> environment, no doubt. Um, I got a chance to play against uh, the Globe Trotters a couple years ago. Uh, I didn't get as many minutes as I thought I should have. Yeah, why not? I don't know. They put me in for like one shot. How dare they? Did you make it? No. Well, that's why. That's why. <laughs> no. That would be why. Because they gave it to me, and they're like, shoot from way back, like five, eight like feet four behind. Point yeah, line? four pointer. Is that yeah. your shot? Are that is that one, one of my shots, uh, four point line, 30 feet from the basket, it's a tough shot. Yeah. It's like Stephen Curry range. So you said you've been doing this since you were little, your big brother was your inspiration. Mm -hmm. Was there a go-to move that you, like, that was like the one that it was just really hard for you to kind of pin down and get that you had to work on just a little extra? Um, I mean, I've, since I was little, I used to like study like the, I don't know if you guys know and one mixtape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to like study those moves and just try to master them. But with the globe trotters, like the tricks, I had to really work on it. Um, I knew how to do the spin, which is like yeah. the iconic spin, but you know, they, now you gotta add all the flair, all right. the swag, but I mean, just investing time and hours like anything. If you worked on it, you could get it. We'll see. We have to do that <laughs> after the show, I'm gonna work on it. So yeah. you spin it? You can spin it? <laughs> I don't know about that. Let me see. Here. Hey. Here, let's get it, I'll, I'll get it over to you. I feel like this is, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> all right, just put your finger up. Put your finger, uh, he's got it covered. I'm gonna just walk off. <laughs> Look at you. This. Oh man. Yeah, you know what? We got time to practice that. <laughs> we got to work on that. Let's leave it to the There it is. There it is. You can do this one. All right. <laughs> Reminder the game is December 6th. 7 p.m. Veterans Memorial Arena. Get your tickets at HarlemGlobeChatters.com. It's going to be a blast. Bring the entire family. Hey, Hoops Green. Hey. All right. And we're going to post this to our website just a little bit later. You can visit firstcoastliving.net.